Welcome to My Wild Magic with me, your host, Adrian Cobb. Join me on a journey back home to your truest self in this inspiring, enlightening, and entertaining show. After a near-death experience in a car crash at 15 years old, I made a choice to stay and brought back with me three simple truths that I found from the other side. Love is all there is, our time is over here quicker than we think, and we all have a purpose, a soul blueprint to fulfill. On this show, you will find a higher purpose, a creative expression, and unique soul attributes that you can bring forth into this world. Stay tuned with me for the next hour and find your higher purpose on My Wild Magic, starting now. I am Adrian Cobb, your host, and you're listening to My Wild Magic with Adrian on Transformation Talk Radio. So today we have uh, on Spirit Hacks, which is all about helping your life, you know, have uh, an easier way, a little bit more effortless way. Um, we have today interviewing Kumara Lanera, who is the founding partner for Force Field EMF Protections, and he has um, one of my favorite little inventions, which is uh, to help us protect our bodies from the man-made EMF, ele- you know, electromagnetic fields that are kind of swirling all around us out there, Wi-Fi, phones, tablets, computers, uh, cell towers. Um, which can be harmful to our bodies. Uh, The other thing I love about the force field is that even more importantly, it helps to bring our body into harmony within itself on a molecular structure. So Kanmara, welcome. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Um, Yeah. So how are you doing? Good. It's been a while since I've seen you. It's yeah, I know. Right. Here to see you again. It's been a while. Yeah, Kamara and I did some uh, work together through Unify, and um, we were working with some, when all the fires were raging in the Amazon and some other indigenous project kind of things like that. So Kamara, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and where you're at, what you're doing now? Uh, these days, while well, I've relocated to um, a, away from the coast, and there's been a definitely a shift of energies for sure. And mm-hmm. lots of learning, lots of new communities that are forming despite everything all that's going on. Um, it just it it's just prime example that the human condition will always find its balance, you know. So that's some kind of consolation, no matter what we're going through. Yeah, the human, yeah, yeah you know, that is so true. I love watching those um like nature videos and stuff where nuclear waste has ruined this whole thing. And then like 20 years later, the green vines have come back and coyotes are running through, you know, it's, it is kind of refreshing to see that the earth will survive us. (laughs) You know, we may not survive us, but the earth will survive us. The the resilience of nature and how nature, what the nature of nature is, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. And the, um, the Omni card is, uh, it, it seems as though it really helps with us being in harmony with our own body, with nature. It feels like it kind of does for us what nature is doing for the earth in a sense, but can you explain a little bit more about um, just like who created the Omni card and how it came into existence? I love that question because, you know, who created it or what created it? What, what created, created it? it? <laughs> I like that better. Itself created it. And <laughs> yeah. it was the, the messengers that were in the form of um, inventors scientists, doctors who formed a bond together and they put their research together over the last 26 years and as of, or even 27, possibly even beyond, because that was a culmination of what they found or the outcome of what a toroidal field creates around it. So when you have, let's say structured water. So when there's structure, there's there's a pattern around it. So there, around the card, uh, it was designed, uh, it's all uh, nat- nature-derived materials, including the inks that may be printed on it. So there had been a lot of attention and careful due diligence in terms of what kind of plastics to use on the outside. It's actually made of non-GMO corn. So it's not just about the product, but it's about how it may sustain itself and how it actually can can and may remain in balance with nature using materials, right? So when we take from nature, let's say, and it, form it into plastic, 
we have to be mindful of what we're actually putting back. So one of the aspects is putting back towards the community, how it helps their bodies have structured water within uh, their, their physical body, as well as the, some would say etheric body or your auric field, which extends uh, even meters away from your core, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's an electromagnetic, I would call it an electromagnetic phase modulator. So it mo modulate, modulates the electromagnetics into the way that it's formed in nature. So there's a, a female side and a male side to it. So there's a, there's a toroidal field that goes like this, but in all planes, right? So if you were to have a three-dimensional model, if you turn it around, you'll always see this. If you turn it to its, um, the up-down axis, I think that's why, it'll, turn, it'll look like a donut. So that, having a, that being in your field within, let's say, an arm's reach, well, that card itself, the Omni card, has a field sure. of... Yeah, six to 10 feet in radius omnidirectionally. So up, down, left, right, forward, back. So as long as you're in that field, it will help, let's say, per se, to, to put some simple terms to it instead of too scientific. And I'm going like to show this to people fork. too. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's like a tuning fork. So if there's incoherent electromagnetic frequencies, let's say the source is a Wi-Fi or a smart meter or a cell phone or a cell phone tower or any wireless communication device that is man-made, it's tuned current. They may have been retuning it because there's a lot of things that are happening uh, with people's bodies. There's a lot of complaints. So of course there has to be a natural response. So if the companies out there are really listening, they'll probably fine tune their their, I would say, their curated instrument that sends out wirelessly to the point where it will not harm the body anymore, like it's the human body or the, the self, right? Because usually what happens is when there's an, a, an artificial man-made wireless emitter, it has been found in many, many years of research with different researchers and doctors, is that it actually breaks the cell wall. And it's a process called VGCCs, coined by Dr. Martin L. Powell. Uh, and he found that it stands for actually voltage-gated calcium channels. Now I'm getting too scientific here, but basically it's, it's kicking all of the uh, calcium that's on the out outer rim of the cell, kicks it in, the cell goes through shock, and it goes through a process called uh, free radicals and uh, audio, um, oxidative stress, it kicks it out of the cell and then it shrivels up. So that cell is deemed dead. The good thing is when you start making uh, or creating a field that is coherent, the body actually starts healing itself. Mm -hmm. So basically what this Omnicard does, it helps your own body's natural healing reactions to actually activate while all this yeah. stuff is going on around so yeah yeah so that's a good I thing i love that boy that was an excellent <laughs> an excellent uh yeah i love the the science of it because you know you do hear things that are out there and it's nice just to kind of get an idea of because i think people in health probably understand the free radicals and the oxidative stress, if they exercise too much or if they're stressed out or they're eating certain types of foods, but you don't really think about it about this invisible force field of Wi-Fi. You know what I mean? I try to keep the Wi-Fi in my um, place off because the minute I turn it off, my head just slightly relaxes a little. You know, it's not like I can't live in my house with Wi-Fi, but I way prefer it off. I have everything kind of hardwired because I do notice that, um, that like, drop in the tension in my energy field. Do you know what I mean? Uh, when it's on and I do live near a few different cell towers or whatever. And, uh, one of the things I was thinking about doing actually is because you said that when you have one, they create a force field around you of six to 10 feet. Right. And so what I was thinking, um, what I've been wanting to do is to go ahead and get four or five of them actually for my house, like keep one in my car you know, one in the thing that I walk with, you know, cause it, um, you know, kind of helps with the cell phone and stuff and just have one by the bed. And, you know, otherwise, I mean, I do keep it on me all the time actually, but it's nice just to have them around the house. Cause in your whole house, 
begins to admit that. I do have one question. So with the card, um, so we know that it's made of the corn. So it sounds like you're describing the company as a triple bottom line company. So basically it's, you know, uh, for profit, but it's also giving back to the community and it's also sustainable with the earth. So it's like that three bottom line thing, which is great. I love working with companies that do that and that are that conscious. And then, so on the inside of the Omni card, uh, what's, what's in there, there that makes it work? nine proprietary uh, metals in there. One that I am able to disclose. Oh, they're natural or a couple I can, I can disclose. Well, well, hang on just a second. We're going to actually go to a break. I really, okay. really, really we'll want to hear back. these metals. <laughs> so um, we're going to go to a quick break. So stay tuned. This is uh, Adrian with My Wild Magic with Adrian. And we are interviewing Kamara Lanera on the Omni card to help with our EMF fields. And we'll be back in just a moment to hear the secret thing of what's in the Omni card or however much you can tell us. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Welcome back. I'm Adrian Cobb, your host with My Wild Magic uh, with Adrian. So uh, my guest today is Kumar Lanera, and he is the founder, or you know, works with the Force Field and this little this little doohickey here. Um, and uh, I love it. It's one of my favorite spirit hacks that I work with that I find really upgrades my energy field. Um, you know, when I first got mine in the mail. Uh, I was so excited to get it. And the minute I took it out of the package, there was two things that happened. One is I noticed my head all of a sudden got really clear, like just holding it. And I am sensitive to energy, but you know, I've had other people open it and feel stuff too immediately, but my head immediately cleared. And then the second thing that happened was I felt my heart relax, like my whole heart relaxed physically. So I had a physical response to it immediately and, um, you know, keep it around me, uh, quite a lot. So, um, anyway, yeah, I'm wanting to get a few more of them. And, uh, during the break, Kumara was telling us a story, um, about a person who came into a store, but tell the listeners what your story was about your, your sleep story. Well, we have, uh, I would say a really fast growing community that share really good things. And, and that's in Edmonton, Canada, Edmonton, Alberta. Alberta. Yeah. Yeah. So basically there is a young family, a young couple who are, is growing a pretty big family at an early stage, but such a dynamic um, mother and father to, I believe, uh, to, uh, two toddlers and a an, uh, new infant coming, I believe. So the toddler uh, was not sleeping and um, he had, uh, the father had come to me and said, um, I'm a little bit miffed at why my kids aren't sleeping properly. And I have a few theories and he works in the solar industry, you know, uh, so, and I had mentioned, well, maybe there's electromagnetic frequencies or maybe there's cell phone towers. He said, well, they, they are around for sure. And I don't know how to start mitigating it. And I said, well, I have these Omni cards. And I said, you can test it out. I can lend one to you. It was just less than a week. He'd come back to the store I work out of uh, once in a while. And he picked one up. And the toddler was starting to sleep uh, better. Not 100%. Uh, but over time, I, I would say in the last nine months, the toddler had lost its restful sleep pattern again. And he goes, I don't know what to do. I don't know. Maybe I have to, do I reposition the card? And I said, well, do you have the inside? facing the flower side. And let me just show people body. real quick. The yin side yeah. is the one with the lines and the, the little yin. pyramid and circle. The uh, yang side is the one with the uh, waves and the... Okay, may I correct you? Because I see yeah. it on your screen. Yeah. The, the curvy side, that's yin. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then that side is yang, which is the male side. Okay, so yeah. So the one with the lines is the yang one and the yeah. ones with all Correct. the circles and yeah, is the yin side. Okay, Correct. got it. So that was under her bed facing her. And I said, well, another one that you can really try and it highly like what Lee will amplify and its benefits is get another card. Well, he already bought a few. Um, so I said, just take one of your cards and tape it on the ceiling and have the yin side facing down towards her bed. And he came and he came back the next day and he said, you know what? She's sleeping like a log. Uh, I, we're going to keep testing it. He came back the following week. He, he said she's maintained her solid eight hours sleep per night. 
That is great. That is so yeah. great. Yeah. I sleep with mine kind of like right on my chest or my solar plexus usually, and it might roll around a little bit at night, but it's still pretty close to me, but I just usually go to sleep with it right there. Honestly, mm -hmm. I even had a, um, uh, one of my friends actually just made me a little, a little carrier for it <laughs> because sometimes if I'm wearing shorts or something, I don't have a pocket. And so I have a little carrier that she hand, uh, roped and knitted for me. I'll show it to you after the next break. And, uh, it just kind of rests right here hands-free, but it's, it's great. I love it. Um, yeah. And so, uh, with the sleeping thing, um, so, uh, from what you're saying is they're putting it under her mattress and on the ceiling. So the Omnicard is, is, uh, um, strong enough to get through the mattress to get through. Yes. Now I, this is a very important point. I'm glad you mentioned mattress because something I forgot to mention is that she had a copper coil mattress, not copper, but just, you know, those circle circular windy yeah you know those things that's for yeah cushion. sure uh i had highly advised for them to get rid of that get a latex one that was another big difference yeah i have a latex yeah, yeah. uh is to keep away other just normal metals that actually may be concentrating the other incoherent emfs and then shooting it through the body so that helped as well. So doing those few things all together, it was, it's like an alchemical process. You, you can't just do one thing. You also have to complement it with a little bit of your knowledge, dig a little bit more, and then put it all together. And then know your pieces that actually give you the, the greatest benefit. So basically, that's how the toddler had responded so well, is to have an extra card above her, not just on the bottom, and taking away the, the, the coil mattress. And then um, will you, just for any, any of the listeners out there who don't know about the coiled mattress, how it affects the body. So let's say you have Wi-Fi in the house or any other electrical cell phone towers, radio towers, et cetera, TV towers. It kind of, kind of comes in through the walls, the windows, et cetera. But, uh, and the Wi-Fi obviously is already in the house. And then there's electricity that runs through the walls and there's smart meters, which a lot of people have been switched over to. Um, but when all those different frequencies come in, what happens with the coils in the mattress? Well, it's like, uh, if you look at how an orgon works, some of your viewers might know how that works. It's based on coil pattern and toroidal fields. So, and where it's source, it is also important. And if it's structured or non-structured. So you can either concentrate a structured field or you can concentrate a, a non-structured field. When I say structured, it means it will support the body. When I say non-structured, it will actually destroy the cell membrane. I so see, you, okay. You want and to minimize your oxidative stress. On right. the, I would say the physiological side of things. Now, our psychology also has a, plays a part. So if, if, you, if you don't believe that taking away the, uh, uh, the coil mattress will not do anything, well, it's going to result you in keeping it there. And your belief pattern will be, well, I'm going to stay sick. Well, then you'll stay sick. Yeah, <laughs> so, right. <laughs> so that's yeah. another angle to look at it, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, so with that, then... You know, I want to go back to a point you were making about the um, EMF fields and let's say the cell phone towers and that they might change it up a bit. So one thing that I had kind of heard, if maybe it sounds like you might can clarify it, is that that there is a lot of concern about 5G, right? But what I've heard is there's different frequencies of 5G. And if they chose, if the companies chose a certain frequency of 5G, which they might do that in Europe, but certain frequencies of 5G would actually be more helpful for us. But the ones here, at least in the US and maybe internationally, are tuned to a certain frequency that are actually harmful to the body. That's so we right. could have 5G mm -hmm. and it be a helpful frequency, but they've chosen a... Whatever is the cheapest. <laughs> okay, so you whatever know, is it, the cheapest. It, it, it costs a lot of money to do a lot extra research, right? So. I, I feel confident and I am faithful that there are companies out there who spend a lot of dollars considering the health effects of whatever te technology they're putting out, right? Now, if this were considered just by one company and putting it out there, I feel that it would actually help the, the, the business community and 
making a better product, right? In terms that actually involves our health, right? So there are other technologies out there, which I have. It's called a pulsed electromagnetic frequency mat. So it's an EMF mat that you lay down on to actually heal the body. Yeah, yeah. And, I use uh, I use the earthing mat. Okay. Yeah. So uh, with the electro the uh, the pulse electromagnetic frequency mat, basically you can actually tune it through a box and you just put your frequency and uh, how intense you want it. And it also has different attachments, which I have like goggles and it has these flashing lights. Oh wow! To help to pretty activate. high tech. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what that does actually is it it stimulates brain waves into you can choose if you want alpha, beta, delta, and so on, or gamma. So depending on how intense you want to go deep inward and to really help your natural defenses respond to the outer world. So there, there's all these technologies out there. That's why I feel faith, you know, very I have faith that there is. There are good things out there. It's not all bad, but when when we when we study what is not what, what is actually harming us, and then applying a a viable solution that is sustainable, well, that's all win win, isn't it? Right. Yeah. So, and this is what the original creators of the OmniCard have done. So, and they want to stay creating these things. They're they're doing other projects too. But I want to go back to one of your questions because your audience might be waiting for that is what's inside, right? Yeah. It's bismuth metal. And it's actually a metal that, interestingly enough, uh, to my knowledge, it can be man-made, but they have to formulate it in the way in how they formulate. Because there's, there's two separate plates in there to, that, that's formed. And it has a, a particular measurement that goes o- over one on top of the other, but not touching. And that creates that, some might even consider it the implosion point or zero point, whatever. I, I, I don't know too much about that, but when it comes to creating or tapping into the field of toroidal fields, which is, it's all, everywhere in nature, including- Well, and you know, uh, yeah, Joe Dispenza talks a lot about it. I mean, all your metaphysical studies and uh, stuff like that usually talk about the toroidal fields. As a matter of fact, the whole image behind you, which is beautiful if you get to see it on YouTube, um, and you can go to mywildmagic.com uh, forward slash podcast, and it will give you the YouTube version. You can see it. But I love your backdrop, uh, this beautiful scene. You just feel like you're just being drawn right into the toroidal. But I don't know if you can see it. I'll show you visually. But you can see the two little metal strips in there that he's talking about, and they're on each side. And um, one of the things that you can do to actually, I know that when I got mine, you can kind of supercharge it. It just kind of harmonizes your whole body is you just put your little fingers at the top and your thumbs at the bottom. But I supercharge mine every morning when I uh, am meditating, I hold it and kind of supercharge it, that kind of thing. So we're going to go to another, go ahead. Another break. Well, yeah, we're going to go to another break. (laughs) We're on these breaks. So we're going to go to another break. I'm Adrian. You're on with uh, My Wild Magic with Adrian and Kumara Lanera with the Force Field EMF card. We'll be back in just a moment. you are on with my wild magic with adrian on transformation talk radio and today on spirit hacks looking at really cool little inventions and little things that we can do to make our life easier and healthier is a uh, kamara lanera and he is showing us the the force field now i put mine in my little bag and if you want to see the visual of this i know a lot of people watch it on or listen to it on a podcast but if you want to see the visual because uh kamara we've got like a lot of visual things going on in the show today you can go to mywildmagic.com forward slash podcast and you can go to my youtube station my wild magic and see the live interview as well and then um, just to sort of catch up a little bit, this is, uh, uh, Kamara mentioned it a minute ago, but it's, uh, say it again? Organite. Organite, yeah. And so basically it's got the, the coil in the middle and it's basically directing energy. And I think that it comes, it's a, is it a Tesla product or a Wilhelm Reich? Well, uh, I, I would say to my knowledge, a little bit of both because both, uh, and I mean Reich, Nikola Tesla, not yeah. the other guy. So Nikola, Nikola Tesla, Tesla, kind himself. of the origin, as well as Wilhelm Reich, they and were, how they bring uh, energy together to help heal the body. And this is uh, the organon, uh, the organite pyramid is one way to do that. And again, I have mine in my windows and by my beds, again, to help clean up the energy of any kind of Wi-Fi stuff. 
Yeah, <laughs> I had one in in my van, and actually, I got it got broken into, and someone stole my organite. <laughs> oh no! It must be that valuable. <laughs> Thinking stealing the organ. I mean, well, they had good taste. You have to admit. <laughs> I thought, you know what? Hey, it's going to help them. Go ahead. fine. Right? Yeah, right. They're, they're, yeah, I know. It's they left my and van. They, come... they left my van. They took the organite. <laughs> yeah, there you go. They they knew exactly what they were going for with that. Yeah. Yes. So we were talking about the different metals and how to. So I um okay. Well, before we get any further, uh, Jacob, if you can put these uh the um the crystal screens that um, Kamara sent to us. So basically, do uh, you want to explain them for us, the the screens that you sent? Uh, yes, sure. So uh, is, that, are, is that up right now? Yeah. Okay, so tell me which one it is, because I think I sent you a few. I don't see it on my screen. The test one, that's the one with four slides in it, in one. It's got two slides. Does it look like it has the oval in it? Okay, so basically this was research done by a crystallographer named Vida Austin. She's a really good dear friend of mine. And she had taken Masaru Emoto's crystallography work and research to the next level. She even actually talks to the water and then freezes it and it sends out messages. So she asked the water that she had placed on top of the, pe the, petri the water in the Petri dish that sat on top of one of these Omni cards for 20 minutes. She asked it, uh, what do you think of this card? And then she freezes it. And through her process, she sees this being like thing, <laughs> the head would be the oval. And then there's a hexagon in there. And now the hexagon shape is a very, I would say a very important piece of the puzzle is because everything in nature, like the bees, they're, they're their beehives are hexagonal in shape. This, the, the, the optimal structure of each cell in our body in the water is actually hexagonal in shape as well, which also is tied to the star tetrahedron. Now that's a basic shape of nature. <clears throat> so that, she, that was a fun thing that she did. And that's more of a, almost like an etheric type of a test but she found it really, really interesting. She goes, wow, look at this, look what turned out. And then, so I don't know if you have the, the next slide up. It's the one with four, or four slides in one. So the first one was, I believe the picture of the spring water that she had frozen and you could see the crystalline hexagonal shape. Then she placed a Petri dish of that same, that same water onto uh, the surf, uh, surface of a table, oops, beside a Wi-Fi hub. And then she took an, another frozen picture of it and you can see it's destroyed. She takes that destroyed piece of ice and she lets it defrost on top of an Omnicard for 20 minutes, refreezes it. And then she takes another photograph through her process and she discovered it was, it's back to spring water in terms of structure. So that, amazing. This, that, that was an amazing story. And it, she said, I, I got to send something to you. I'm like, what's that? She goes, you, you, you're not going to believe this, but it's, I can believe it because I've done tens of thousands of photographs and this is not an isolated incident. incident. So she just took the best one that was able to be presented. So the, here we are. Yeah, it, and it's noticeable in the photos, really. And um, I think it just brings, you know, two really great points. One is Wi-Fi, you know, and the point about the crystals. And here's here's the book. Again, if anybody's interested, you can see it. And he shows the water crystals, but it's called The Hidden Messages in Water by uh, Masaru Emoto. Uh, and uh, excellent little book. It's, it's little, it's easy to read. There's tons of photographs in here uh, regarding the water crystals and what they look like, mostly using words like if you use hate or love or gratitude or um, disgust. So he uses a lot of it with our language. And the point is that the body is uh, what percentage water? Uh, by volume, it's, uh, I would say it's 99%. And molecularly, it's 80%. Yeah, I know they're high. 
it, it's in the yeah, high yeah, category. yeah, very high. They're over seventy yeah. percent. Yeah. Yes. So your body is over seventy percent, eighty and ninety nine percent water. So whenever you have the OmniCard, it's restructuring the water in your system. So, so one thing that I love about the OmniCard is that it creates like um, this this. Uh, like you said, a total donut, but it creates a field of energy six to 10 inches out, six to 10 feet around you that whenever the Wi-Fi and EMF and all the different techno things that are coming at you, it's sort of like a tube of white light. Like I call down a tube of white light every morning, mm -hmm. but this is sort of like helping that. And it creates this kind of, you know, kind of a stopping point where it doesn't hit your body so yeah. hard, right? Yeah, I'm a bit of a geek. So I call it the, uh, the coherence field. Coherence field. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. And then, um, but then the second thing it does, so you're helping your body not have all the free radicals and all of the, um, all that stuff going on. Right. But then the second thing it does, and this is the thing I'm actually more interested in even, uh, is that when you have it on or around your body, it starts to bring your body back into coherence. Sort of like what he's talking about with the water structures with the ice, is that it actually helps the, the structure of water in your body where there maybe you've had negative thought forms or words or psychic attacks or entities or you've got health issues or you're eating certain foods that don't have high vibes. This helps you to kind of raise your frequency. I'm just sort of elaborating, honestly, Kamar. I'm assuming it helps a lot of our negative thought forms and words just because it's going to work with the EMF fields. There's no way that it's not going to work with all the other frequencies, it seems, that we get into lower vibe foods, lower vibe thoughts, lower vibe emotions, et cetera. Correct. And, you know, there's, a, there's a, quite a few uses for with this uh, OmniCard. I use it as a, a a coaster as well where i can put my drinks and my, my glass of water on top. coaster another yeah. good use another yeah great use. i've actually had it in a swimming pool during a it's called a sound bath where they have like crystal bowls and all that right and we're on floaties in this olympic sized pool well i put four of these omni cards at the bottom of the pool so because they have been tested too with fish tanks too so you can put it in a fish tank um you can i never put, thought about putting it in my bath yeah, like to you, take a bath with it yeah. you know and so does it amplify you know because electricity and water you know can kind of be up like so when you put it in water does it amplify more or is it pretty much just the same i would say it has a little bit of amplification depending on the homeostasis of your own body so if you have a lot of toxins coming out it might help a little bit but if your body's already clean you'll probably take it to a next level Got it. And then, you know, the structure of water, when it comes through the pipes and it's been chlorinated, it's already kind of at a low vibe anyway. Uh, yes. So whenever you do put the Omni card in or you bless your food, you bless your water, you know, that kind of thing, you're helping yourself a lot. And then I have one of the uh, five gallon water containers that I have on like, um, you know, something that uh, whatever, one of those stands and whatever. So if I just put it on top of the five gallon, like, you know, how it goes upside down. So I just mm -hmm. put it on the top of the bottom of the water while it's upside down, it just radiates down and starts to requalify the water, right? Correct. Yeah. And there's actually a specific way that I have found and experimented on my, you know, myself, as well as I would say a blind study group that I, I geek out sometimes. I'm like, Hey, you guys, you have these Omni cards. Can you like test this out? And we do different testing. Like, can you, can you put it up to your screen? The, uh, yin side. The so side? I tell, uh, the yin, the curvy, yeah. yeah, that one facing up to the ceiling, just on a table. And I said, okay, now that you have the inside facing up, you want, it's because I want to calm some kind of water down that came from pipes, 90 degree turns. And as per Masaru Emoto's research, when water goes through 90 degrees and high pressure, he said it, it, it gets angry, but on the scientific term, apparently it loses a nitrogen, uh, a uh, hydrogen molecule and it, it loses does its so what you want to do is you want to calm the water down right so but and that's the yin side the yin side now can, if you can flip it over if you have the water exposed to that side let's say you know as a coaster this is the yang side that has the, the lines side. on it with the that's little because, triangle because you want to activate it bring it back to life let's say well what kind of water do you want to bring back to life well it's the tepid water that's been sitting for more than 24 hours those are the, that's the kind of stuff that you want to do so if you can wrap your brain around which side to use basically you, all you have to remember is the yang side activates the yin side calms down 
Got it. So really, if I have water sitting in a five gallon jug or a one gallon jug or a bottle of water, I probably want to activate it with the, the one that has the lines in the pyramid that side. Approximately and if it's water minutes. coming out of the faucet, it's probably gone through 90 degree turns and it's probably lost a hydrogen atom. It's probably angry. Mm. It's not, you know, and so I want to calm it down calm with it down, the inside softening. with all the, um, uh, yeah, that makes perfect sense, actually. Um, mm. Yeah, pretty cool. So, okay, well, I'm like, we got to go to another break, but this is so interesting. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I'm Adrian Cobb. We're with Kamara Linera on My Wild Magic with Adrian. We'll be back in just a moment. And thank you for listening to Transformation Radio. Uh, yeah, Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome back. We're here on uh, My Wild Magic with Adrian. I'm Adrian, your host, and we are with Kumara Lanera, who is uh, working with us on the force field and the Omni cards, which help us with the EMF fields um, to protect your body, but also to harmonize your body. And, you know, one of the things, Kumara, um, how can people, I know, Jacob, you can put up on the screen um, the website and the link. And Kamara, do you have anything that you, you know, a way that people can reach you directly? Oh, directly. You can contact me directly at Kumara, K-U-M-A-R-A at forcefieldemf.com. And uh, if you want to go through Adrian too, you can go through her channel and then she can get a hold of me. But if you want to have specific questions that are very specific, I would be more than happy to answer any question you have. So that's Kamara, K-U-M-A-R-A at forcefieldemf.com. Correct. Awesome. Okay, great. Yeah, because yeah, Kamara does all kinds of cool little things, but he's just like a wealth of knowledge. I'm just digging this so much. So, um, so really then when it comes to health issues, you know, obviously we've had the last year and a half dealing with COVID stuff and people's immune system issues. Uh, then there's just your basic ongoing health issues like cancer, mm -hmm. diabetes, mm -hmm. sleep issue, anxiety issues. Actually, I'm curious, how does it affect diabetes? I mean, um, I'm sorry, anxiety, depression, some of your mental, emotional issues. And do you have any stories about how it's helped physical issues? Uh, pain. Uh, pain relief is a big one that had come in. Uh, we have a gentleman that uh, had contacted us quite early went after maybe about three to four months after we started carrying it and studying it and getting it out there and getting feedback from friends, family, is that he was on, um, uh, he had a lot of headaches. So he had uh, hypertension of some sort that led to a lot of headaches. He needed to use Advil all the time. He does not take Advil anymore. <laughs> he just keeps it in his pocket. Wow. And he goes, I don't know. What, I don't know how it works, but it's working. And he, he, he's pretty convinced that that's the key factor because when he takes it away, wh whether he does it on purpose or he does it by accident, it's not in his pocket. He's thinking, well, why, why do I have a headache again? Right. Wow. So, that's pretty strong. Yeah. And I yeah. did notice the minute I got it out of the package and just held it without knowing anything about it. And I didn't, I don't really, I'm not prone to headaches, but my head instantly cleared. And I do think that some people based on the chemistry of their body are going to be a little bit more sensitive to um, head issues and Wi-Fi and that kind of thing um, or other environmental things. Yeah, absolutely. And to, to further clarify what you had asked and, and about not, not only pain relief, but also, you know, does it help with diabetes? Does it help with, you know, other anomalies in the body? I would say I would highly think so. Because what this Omnicard does, it actually addresses the root cause. Well, what's the root cause? Unstructured cells and, and water in your body. So right. when it's structured, your, your hormones, uh, the blood ba brain barrier, there's better communication. So that actually starts to wire in a way that your body has less oxidative stress trying to fight off, let's say, disease or let's say, uh, uh, I would say an emotional, uh, from the emotional side, like you had mentioned earlier, you felt calmer when, you, when you hold it. Yeah. Because, so when your body is calmer, it actually doesn't, it doesn't have this tensity to it. And when we're tense or when we're stressed out, the natural response of the body is to release not only dopamine, but it's actually cortisol, it's called. It's also known 
as the so-called quote unquote death hormone. And the opposite of that is melatonin. So that's the calming one. And that's when we start to reach, you know, from, from beta and then you can go into the delta or even to, into the gamma. Uh, when we're in, in a deep sleep, we're in a, in a very deep state of relaxation. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. why our bodies sleep at night is because it needs to rejuvenate and re rebuild um, the body uh, from the broken downness of the day and all the stressors, not only emotional stress, but there's also situational stress, people who are going through a lot of anguish in their lives. So there's, you know, it's kind of like a, I call it community in a card. <laughs> there's a community that it's tied to the toroidal field that's that's ever abundant in the universe. And that's what actually Tesla and, and uh, Reich had actually tapped into many years ago. And it's the same thing. So you don't have to, we don't have to really reinvent the wheel. It's already out there. We just have to access it and, and remember what those key aspects are. Yeah. And when the body, you know, whether it's foods we're eating or stress, you know, through job, relationship, life issues, um, you know, bad quality water, air issues, just, I mean, news, whatever, a lot of stress in the world and any of those stresses, um, they cause inflammation in the body, you know what I mean? And so it sounds as though, um, you know, this particular EMF card not only helps again with kind of a, a shielding, an umbrella in a sense around your body or a coherent field, um, to help protect that. But again, the nine metals that are inside of it are interacting with your body in a way, you know, again, sort of like the, the organite type thing, right? But it's, it's working with your body to help create coherence with the cells of your body so that they are then releasing stress. And at the very, very core level of who we are as a human being, just on a molecular level, it's helping to restructure our energy field. And that is something I think that's kind of different than a lot of the other EMF. Like a lot of people want to use Shungite as the stone, um, you know, and obviously meditation, breathing, there's certain things that can help create coherence, but I do like this as a tool that kind of boosts, but in comparison to other tools that are out there for EMF, is the nine metals on the inside different? Like what would be different between this and well, all your other EMF I'll, and the cost too, because well, a lot a of them are more expensive. So tell me a little bit about the difference. So the difference there, that's a very good question is that what is inside as well as the outside, it, it's all organic. Like it hasn't been broken down and reconstituted. It's just been curated in a way that it actually provides the, the best given what nature has given us and the entire process. So there's actually zero waste, you know, because the, the plastic part goes into two separate chambers before they paste it together with the metals in between it. And there's a little knob that holds it together. Well, they break it off and then they paste the, the two um, outside plates together with the metal plates inside it. Well, that little knob gets remelted down and it's, it's melted down into boxes to transport for transport. So the whole process is very, I would say mindful uh, in, ah, that is, in its entirety. Yeah, it's good. And there's another aspect uh, to that as well. Uh, could you remind me? Of the other um, yeah. So, uh, when we're looking at the difference between this EMF card and other EMF cards, one is it is kind of an organic, it, it is organic, but it's also an organic and very conscious process. But what's the difference in terms of, um, like, I don't know if other EMF fields or Shungite kind of help to re- to create harmony in your body, the same as this one has been designed to do, and also the, the difference in a lot of the cost in them. Okay, well, I would say the versatility of the product as well. That's a really big difference because it's used for pain relief, it's used for sleep, it's used to restructure water. It's all in one card. There are other companies out there that will have that will carry, let's say, seven different cards. One's for sleeping, one's for you know pain, one's for you know. Uh, to, to provide you the, the best energy during the day. Well, this one has it all. It just depends on which side are you using, how far or how close it is to you. Uh, you can have it in a purse or you can have it on the desk. Or for me at night, I have it right underneath my pillow. <laughs> ah, yeah, nice. Yeah, I, yes, yeah, so I keep mine on my sensitive spots. It's more like my heart and my solar plexus. So I keep it there for you. It's underneath mm -hmm. your head. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, so I, I like that. Yeah, and then what about cost-wise? Uh, 
I would say, well, How, like what do these run be, versus other stuff you've seen on the market? The ones I've seen on the market that only do one thing, I'm seeing them for about 200 US. And just or more. Them. I've seen some or that more. go up higher too. I've seen ones that I, I don't even want to mention because it's like close to a thousand. And I'm like, mm. and, I, and I'm not one to say, oh, that, that's bad, bad, bad. Well, they might have something better, but I would say for the price point and for what it does, I, I, I would think it's really not think, but I know it's high value. And this one runs for about how much? 111 US. 111, that's, yeah. That's the MSRP on it, yes. Yeah, yeah, which are nice, nice magic numbers too there. You know, it's got a good value. And then how long does it usually last? A uh, lifetime? Does last, it ever wear uh, out? Uh, it doesn't wear out unless you take a, a sandpaper, um, you rub it against the road while you're driving. Yeah, anything will wear out. But, but just um, its basic use, basic it's a lifetime use, product. Every day, in and out of your pocket, chafing against fabric, even the, the colors that we use, if there's any printing on it, it's used from a biodegradable, and they call it bio ink. That's awesome. So well, if there's blues and reds, they come from berries, and sometimes they add vinegar to it to create a different wow. color. Wow. There's so many different things that, yeah, it, it's, yeah well, I'm it's, really proud of it. Such a beautiful product, and thank you so much. It is one of my favorite spirit hacks. I urge everyone to check it out, get it. There's a link. You can go on to uh, buy that. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you so much, Kamara, for coming on right. and just educating us, illuminating us on all the science of, uh, yeah, the EMF uh, part it, as well as it, our, it goes, yeah. It goes both ways. You know, as you find such benefit and you're sharing it back to me, I can take it back to the team and it, it gives inspiration just to keep going. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Really so uh, any positive feedback, send it in to me or Kamara. Again, that is uh, K-U-M-A-R-A at forcefieldemf.com, or you can reach me directly at, um, you know, how do you get in touch with me? I'm like totally forgetting now. Oh yeah. Uh, mywildmagic.com. Thank you. <laughs> mywildmagic.com uh, forward slash podcast. You can also check anything else I order, uh, have on my website and would love to have you guys join up on my membership where we do monthly and weekly meditations. So thank you so much, Kamara. And Thanks. till next week. Thanks for tuning in to My Wild Magic with me, your host, Adrian Cobb. Each one of us has a sole purpose on this earth and a higher purpose full of creative expression and unique soul attributes. Make sure to tune in next week on TransformationTalkRadio.com to continue your journey home to your truest self and pursue the path of unconditional self-love. If you would like to learn more about me, visit MyWildMagic.com. Again, that's MyWildMagic.com. Dot com.